When a customer orders a meal off a menu, this is where it all happens. But to do this successfully every time, there's one thing that's always needed. Ingredients. This may sound simple enough in theory, but when it is put into practice, it can be a complicated endeavour. Large establishments with a wide variety of menu options need to have an enormous and diverse array of ingredients and other ready-to-serve food items on site. Not only this, but they need to be fresh and for financial viability, they should also be purchased at a reasonable price. The process of finding out what needs to be bought, right through from purchasing the food, preparing the meal, serving it to the customer, keeping track of what's spent, and repeating the process all over again, is known as the inventory cycle. The first step in this process is requisitioning. The restaurant will put their list together and potentially pass it to the procurement team who would uh, negotiate with um, the different distributors of food, get the best price and distribution of that. That leads us into uh, the purchasing. The trick to purchasing is doing good research. So you need to look around so you get the very best product at the very best price. Another nice thing to do when you're purchasing items is to check your local um, community and try and purchase locally, that way you support your community. When you're purchasing a good, you need to consider its shelf life from the date that it arrives, how long will it last, and will it still be suitable when it makes it to the kitchen. The supplies are very important to a restaurant business. The suppliers need to be able to supply the goods required with prompt and efficient service. If the suppliers can't deliver the goods as and when required, this may mean the restaurateurs need to find another supplier elsewhere. Once a price and quantity has been settled on by the purchaser and supplier, the goods are delivered to the establishment and received by the dock or receiving clerk. This phase of the cycle is complete once full payment for the goods has been made. Once the goods have been received, it's important that they are quickly stored in appropriate environments. It serves little purpose to buy fresh salad greens, for example, and to then leave them out in warm conditions where they will wilt. The role of sorting through the goods falls on the shoulders of the stores person. The store person is in charge of issuing stock to the correct department that would have requisitioned the stock. Um, for example, if fresh fruit arrives, the store person will make sure that that is delivered to the kitchen, whereas if it's cases of wine that arrive, that will go to the bar staff. The preparation is the process after we've received the goods, and the products start to get processed into consumable goods. So they can be fried, they can be chopped, they can be cut, they can be sautéed, whatever happens. Taking the raw material is the finished process for that consumer. Service is like the icing on the cake. You can have an elegantly presented meal, a beautiful beverage, be in a gorgeous environment that's nice and warm and relaxed. But without good service, all of these components are going to be lost in an unsatisfactory experience and the customer won't be satisfied. Serving a great meal is one thing, but for this to continue, a profit must be made. The next stage in the cycle is the sales stage. The customer pays for the meal, which is a good thing because they've just consumed the establishment's goods, which now need to be repurchased, kick-starting the cycle over again. To make sure that the company doesn't run at a loss, it's important that the accounting side of things is well taken care of. Reports need to be generated so that the managers have a clear indication of where all the inventory and finances are going. The managers can then use these reports for making calculated decisions on how to improve systems, cut costs and overall increase profits. In practice, many of these different phases in the cycle overlap. A restaurant could not fully operate with only one major requisitioning every now and then. There are many goods, such as milk, that need to be repurchased regularly and in smaller amounts due to their limited shelf life. 
in the same sense, a restaurant can't wait for customers to fully exhaust their food stores as some menu items may be more popular than others and may need to be repurchased sooner. Next, we'll take a look at beverage control.